welcome back. So now we're just going to be talking about a single point test with infiltration effects included in it. So this is the test that we were looking at before, same thing. And we've got our building pressure and our CFM, just a single point. And then if we continue going down, we see, actually we can get the time for the end of the test. We see that there's um, another section here on infiltration effects. So we can choose the climate location. We have a drop down box with um, a whole bunch of different climates in the US. And we have a couple in Canada as well. So let's choose um, let's choose Midland, Texas. Now if you don't see the city that you're in drop down, but you do have climate information, you can just click this arrow and you can enter the climate data, the degree days, design temperature, design wind, and all that on your own. And you can also get that information for each of the climate locations that you select. Now what type of heating? We're actually going to have cooling with electricity and heating, let's say, with wood. Now the number of stories in our house, say two stories, three bedrooms, and four occupants. Now money per cord, let's say, I'm really not sure how much this will be, but let's say $60. Cooling cost, let's say about uh, 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And this is our efficiency, let's say heating efficiency, it's about 70% efficient. And the SEER rating for cooling, let's say it's about 8. Now your shelter class, if you drop it down, you can say how exposed the building is to the wind. Let's say it's moderate exposure. We'll calculate, and it gives us our winter design CFM and our air changes per hour for winter and summer gives us our costs for heating, it would be about $13.98 and $44.07, and those are per year. And then also give us a required ventilation. So for 24 hours, we require 65 CFM for 24 hours, and our estimated annual infiltration is about 0 0.13 air changes per hour, or 31.9 CFM. That's about 8 CFM per person. Now if we look at our deviation statement, a little bit lower here, we can see how we've satisfied some of the requirements for ASTM. So ASTM requires that you test in both directions, and we haven't done that. And that just means that you pressurize and depressurize the location that you're testing. We've only done one, so that we didn't pass that. But your height times temperature difference is less than 1100, 1180, and we have that. Our uh, wind is 4 miles per hour or less, we've got that. Outdoor temperature is between 45 and 95, yes, no problem. When it's lower than that and when it's higher than 95, the fan might have a little bit more trouble working. Um, five or more building pressures used, we didn't do that because we did a single point test. And we also only took one bias pressure and it was uh, not for 10 seconds. Although we can make it for 10 seconds if we do that. 10 bias pressure. I think if we calculate, oh, it didn't. There we go, bias pressure taken for 10 seconds or more, yes. And your building pressure for 10 seconds or more, no, but we can change that the way I showed you. Anyways, you can see how the deviation statements work. Um, and your correlation coefficient has to be greater than 0.98. Ours is one just because we have one point but that will change when you have more tests and more points. And if you want to play around a little bit with the infiltration effects and the, the variables that you add in here, let's say we change to a colder area. Let's say we go to Alaska, Fairbanks, Alaska, and calculate. And we can see that our heat increases greatly and our cooling cost decreases quite a lot because you don't need too much cooling in Alaska. And if we change the number of occupants, let's say to six people, we can see that our CFM per person changes and our required ventilation changes as well, because required ventilation is based on how many occupants you have in the, in the building.
you can play a little bit around with these values and see how things change. And in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about um, how to do a multipoint test.